Have you ever wondered what sets a successful print-on-demand store apart on Etsy? What are the secret ingredients that turn a simple store into a sales powerhouse? Well, today we're going to dissect a top-performing Etsy store and we're going to go through and kind of unveil all of the strategies behind its success. So in the busy marketplace of Etsy, standing out can definitely be a challenge, especially for print-on-demand sellers. Yet, some stores, they're managing to survive, they're thriving so spectacularly and understanding how they can do it can really help provide some valuable insight for anyone who wants to sell well on Etsy. So to bring you these insights, I've delved deep. I've gone into some of the most popular Etsy stores of all time. So we're going to go through and analyze kind of stores, the strategies, different nuances that were contributing to their successes. So it's not just like surface level observation, it's in-depth analysis also backed by years in the print on demand industry. So we're gonna go over a store that isn't necessarily print on demand first, but has some of the items that you can get via print on demand, just to show you kind of in a broader context what does really well. So for those of you who haven't met me yet, I am Rachel Rofe, founder of Low Ying System and Custom Happy, and I've built a seven figure print on demand business from scratch. And I'm just passionate about sharing my knowledge and experience with others on this journey so that you guys can hopefully change your lives as well. Let's dig into the store and we're gonna go over some of the things that work well. Okay, so here we are in Caitlin Minimalist. Now this is the number one best-selling store on Etsy right now. You can see 2,730,648 sales at the time of making this video. By the time it gets published, I'm sure it'll be well, well, well more. So I thought we would go in and just kind of go over some of the things that work so well on this store. Now. First, you can see she still has a lot of items. I like having a lot of items too, 1,412. I know some people like to talk about kind of on a call and just make sure they have the most important ones, but I say the more the merrier, especially because you never really know what's gonna sell and you're only spending 20 cents per listing, you know, every 120 days. So that's my perspective on it, but she has a lot of items. What I've also noticed is that she has what looks like similar listings, but she'll make them again with new keywords. And so this is a really good way to kind of appeal to all the different possible keywords that someone might be searching for. So what I mean by that is, let me make this a little bit bigger. So for example here, multiple name ring. This is for people who might type in multiple name ring and then find, you know, who, who wants something like this. But she's got other things, like here um, we have curb chain name ring. It's not exactly the same thing, but that's like she's going after the same kind of product, but just different uh, keywords in order to find the different people searching different ways. Like you can see here, we've got, this one's under Mother's Day gifts name ring. So if someone's searching Mother's Day gifts, then we got it there. And this one, custom name ring. And this is another, um, so this one says custom name ring, family ring. This is custom name ring, personalized stacking ring. So she's clearly done her keyword research here, which you don't really need to do for the low hanging model, super in depth. But for her, she's, she's found things that have worked and she's just maximizing it as much as possible. She also has a really good clear mockups. It's super easy to see everything that um, she's selling. Very, very clear, very, very simple. Now, you don't necessarily need to do this for low hanging. It's super in depth because we're trying to keep it low hanging, right? Keep it as simple as possible. But if you have a winner and you want to scale up, some of the things here that also work well inside her title or sorry, inside her description, she's got her um, keywords. We've got name ring here because you see this listing is for a custom name ring. And inside her description, it says name ring, name ring. So she's got that here. She has all of the different information about the ring. So all the questions are answered. It's easy for people. She has even in Instagram, which you definitely don't need to have for low hanging, but she's clearly doing a lot of things right, giving people as much information as possible. So this is just a really good one. Now let me actually take you over to a print on demand store. Okay, so this one is a print on demand store that's got a lot of sales. We've got over 20,000 sales, so maybe not the number one one, but I'm also trying to be very careful to not <laughs> go for people who look like they've been taking low hanging system. So for these, 
We've got some things. Cosmetic bags, by the way, are doing really well, or they're available on Custom Happy now, so if you're not selling them, I definitely would. She does a really good job. I keep saying she. This sales, this owner, does a really good job with keywords. So some of the things we have, like electronics organizer bag, that's a good way to sell some of these. If someone's searching electronics organizer bag and then sees this cosmetic bag, that's awesome. So totally makes sense. Uh, funny travel bag, men, women, bag for electronics, gift ideas. I don't know that I would actually include this part. I'd probably just try to keep it to um, as few words as possible in the title that 100% accurately describe whatever the product is about. But the other things, you know, electronics organizer bag, bag for electronics, that makes a lot of sense. It's very relevant to what someone would type in and then what they would find here. For this one, best friend gifts is in the title and this is all about being best friends, so that's great. Um, and then best friend birthday female, I think that makes a lot of sense too. So, and also her mock-ups here I would say are pretty good and uh, very easy to see everything. Would I say for that store that it was 100% following low hanging model? No, that's how I was able to kind of tell, that, but but it still was doing a lot of things, you know, really right. The mock-ups were awesome, some innovative products and stuff like that. Now we have another one. This is 62,000 sales and um, has really spectacular keywords. Like this one's about bacon, so sing sizzling bacon tea. It's a, it says exactly what it, so if someone searches sizzling bacon tea, that's gonna be exactly what this is about. It's perfect at saying exactly what this is about. I love it. Lucky cat shower curtain. This is lucky cat shower curtain. It's so good um, in order like the keywords are just chef's kiss perfection now some of this i don't know that they could actually sell like starry night i'd probably stay away from that um but some other ones we have so this is a crane shower curtain and that's exactly what it says here crane shower curtain the keywords here make it very easy for me to understand why this one does really well because remember when people are searching on etsy um they whatever they're searching for is the thing that they want to purchase, right? So if they search, for example, for a sea shower curtain, that's what they're looking for. So sometimes people will put in, um, let's say sea shower gift as the first keyword inside the title. But if someone's searching sea shower gift, maybe they're thinking they want a towel or a shirt or whatever. But if they type in sea shower curtain, it's a little bit of a tongue twister, it's a lot more likely um, that they'll go through and purchase. And when you have people that purchase more than Etsy will show your results in the listings more and it's just the gift that keeps on giving. So for this one, amazing, amazing keywords here. I think that's why this one does so good. And then here's another print on demand store that looks really good. And this one is Again, really good mock-ups you can see here. I think the titles, like this one, Coffee Makes Me Poop, that makes sense. I'd probably make it Coffee Makes Me Poop mug. Or Dakshan Wood Coaster Set, that's a really good keyword. It's exactly what this is about. Um, and I think some of the other things it has going for it is, for example, it has coasters. Now, a lot of people don't sell coasters, at least with the traditional thing. They have them on Custom Happy. I would say do those too. But I think the products that not a lot of people are offering are, you know, solid. Also, um, they took a product that worked well, this whole clean, dirty thing for the dishwasher. They took something that worked well and then they made all types of like sub products for it. People are searching clean, dirty, so they have one for Golden Girls. Wouldn't do that with copyright trademark, but we have a Golden Girls, a football clean, dirty, one that says blue, like blue, red, dirty, red, dirty, clean. Uh, I saw a purple one, purple over here. And then they have one for in Spanish, black cat, dirty, clean, Wizard of Oz, again, copyright. So my point is they found something that worked and then they scaled that to try and sell more and more and more. Um, same thing, let's see what they have here for Christmas ornaments. Well, this is trademark and copyright central, so I would not uh, necessarily do that. But the mock-ups are really nice and clean here. And the ones, like this is funny beard ornament, this is a funny beard ornament, so that's a really perfect keyword. So those are some of the things that they are doing right. 
And then lastly, because I love selling some digital stuff, I figured I'd also go to Planner Kate One. She is one of the, uh, she's the second most popular seller at the time of this video, 1,977,273 sales. And she does so many things that are so great. For example, even if you look here, five freebies with every single order she sends. I mean, it, that's such a delightful thing for people to purchase and then know they're getting freebies. That's so fun. Um, she has different things here. You can go on Instagram and you can follow her. She's got a Facebook group. She has so many different things. And then her titles and her keywords and stuff are so good. When we go into certain things, for example, here is her sticker section. You look at her keywords and they're very much exactly what this is about. So we have headphones, itty bitty icon. That's exactly what this is. And look, she's got not only the sticker, but she has a big picture here of what it looks like. Same thing here, sticky note doodle stickers is the title. And then we have a picture, a little bit of a bigger picture of what the sticky note looks like so that people can see it really easily. Cause I'm showing you this on a big monitor, but a lot of people are gonna be on their cell phone. It's gonna be really small thumbnail. So she does a really good job of showing like weight, workout doodles, boom, she's got that shown here. At the scope, you can see that bigger here. Do you need to do all of that for low hanging? No, definitely not. But it shows kind of when you're scaling up on things, because if you have a winner, then sure, put some more effort into it. She just does a really good job. Everything is really well organized here. She adds some things like grab bags, things like this. And then if you look at the reviews, you could see this is so cute. The store left me some freebies in the packaging, uh, which is really fun. She says she loves getting the month. So this person, she does monthly different themes and everything. So this is the monthly themes are so stylish and adorable. I'm always excited to get my order. So when she says I'm always excited to get my order, that tells me she's buying over and over and over because the seller here is keeping this really interesting. This person too, love PK's kicker stickers, always great. So she keeps buying more and more. In fact, she's got another one right here. Uh, she signed that she bought another one. She definitely makes us an experience here when people are purchasing. Had different things to cover like product selection and amazing keywords and good mock-ups and um, some of them have like fun marketing things. Not again for low hanging necessarily, but as you're scaling up, you've got that as an option. So by dissecting these Etsy stores, we can kind of uncover and see what's working for people, why it works so well and just realize, you know, the success on the platforms, it's not always accidental. Like sometimes you can get lucky, but a lot of times they follow patterns. A lot of these stores had amazing keywords, great mock-ups, all the different things. When you have this knowledge, you can be a little bit more strategic when you're executing. And if you are inspired to take your store to the next level, then I would say, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. We'll have more videos coming out. We can do more case studies if that's kind of what you like or feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to cover next. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day.